Our journey to the Inca Trail began the morning of Friday, September the 3rd. Our first flight had us traveling from Lexington to Atlanta, and our second leg from Atlanta to Peru's capital city, Lima. There, we would spend the night in the airport before boarding the third flight from Lima to the city of Cusco. It was a full 24 hours of travel time before we reached our Airbnb in the old neighborhood of San Blas near the Cristo Blanco forest. Our bodies were already feeling the jet lag and the changes in altitude as the city sits at 11,152 feet above sea level and the Airbnb resting atop a 140 step staircase.
After a few short hours of napping, we descended down the mountain into the heart of the city for some local food and sightseeing. Our first full night of rest in Cusco was long and much needed. We were all taking altitude sickness medication to help with our symptoms, which was especially needed for Hannah and myself, as our symptoms were the worst. After a slow morning overlooking the city, we spent the remainder of the day exploring the main square of Plaza de Armas. Cusco, Peru is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the Western Hemisphere. Formerly the capital of the extensive Inca Empire, it retains much of its highly crafted early stone architecture, which is typically preserved in the foundations and lower stories of Spanish colonial structures. 
Although the city stands high in the Andes at an average elevation of 11,150 feet, the climate is fairly temperate, with air being generally dry and frost being rare even during the coldest months, June and July. The city's name derives from a Quechua word meaning navel or center, dates from the 11th or 12th century, and was the capital of Tawantin Suyu, meaning realm of the four parts. After a full day immersing ourselves in this exotic landscape and culture, we retired back at Casa Mirador, preparing our minds and bodies for a 3.30 a.m. wake up to begin our two-hour shuttle to the start of the trail. you'll say Peru. <laughs> Count yourselves. <laughs> Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but I feel tired. Like, I could go back to bed. <laughs> I thought you were about to say you felt great about the altitude here. I was like, no. I just don't want you to get kidnapped while you're trying to film a shot. Car pulls up and they can just pull you in. And then I turn around and I'm like, oh. Anywhere that you tell me to, if you need me.